Hey John, uh, good hey, to Scotty. see you. How are you mate? Yeah, I'm good mate. I'm, uh, I've just concluded a day at uh, Resto Country. So Resto Country is a part of the Rare Spares business and they have sell all sorts of restoration products. So I've been here for, well, since 8.30 and meeting lots of car lovers. So that's what I like doing. I like car, car people because I'm a car person myself. Yeah, good stuff, mate. Hey, um, tell me what it was like racing back in the day and how'd you first start? And back in the day. Can you, can you think back, mate, what, what we, it was like? If we have to go back to when I started, we'll, we'll be here for a couple of weeks at least. <laughs> I've been racing since uh, I was 15. Never stopped, so uh, I've done uh, well over 1,200 races. I can't remember exactly how many, but it's, it's the, I think it's the most in Australia. There's some stats people that tell me things sometimes so uh, but you know I, I grew up in a racing family really so it was just inevitable that I was going to end up racing and uh, as soon as I was able to get a license to race I started racing so yeah the rest is sort of history I've raced lots of different categories lots of different cars won a few lost a few you know <laughs> of a I'm a habitual racer, you could say, although I'm, I'm transiting to Lord's retirement. I'm just not quite sure <laughs> when I'm going to execute that retirement. I raced last weekend in a, uh, a BMW GT4 okay. uh, with a friend of mine called Jacob Lawrence, and we came second in our class, so that was good. We got a big trophy that I don't know where to put. And, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, it's, it's, it's such a contrast that BMW to this car, which is the one I've raced for the last, say, six or seven years the yep. in, in Touring Car Masters, and, and these are sort of old-fashioned cars, and the BMW is about as modern as you can get. So. Yeah, yeah, completely different drive, yeah, completely, isn't it? Completely, completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really have to reprogram your brain, you know. So, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's good. It's a challenge that people I'm racing with are great people, so, you know, I don't see any reason to completely stop right now I'm just slowing up a bit. That's all. Yeah, yeah. And um, what was it like to uh, race this one? Because you've been racing this one. How long have you been doing this one, John? Seven years. Okay, okay. Oh, this is great. This is a, a, a very high quality touring car, masters car. It was built in Bendigo, Bendigo retro muscle cars, the places where they built it, and it's built to a very high standard. I mean, in my racing life, I, I've uh, you don't have to be any Einstein to work out that if you're in a good car, you're a chance to do well. Yep. And if you're in a bad car, you're not going to do any good. So I always tried to get myself into good cars. Yeah. I haven't always managed, but, you know, <laughs> that's the intent. Yeah. So uh, we, you know, we developed this car together, and I've had lots of, you know, it's, I think I've won uh, 58 races in it. Okay. So it's, it's quite a successful. Uh, yeah. It's now owned by David Hender, who's going to race it. Yep. So you've sold this car, John? Yeah. Yep. Uh, he, uh, there were quite a lot of people interested in it, but a lot of them were interested in it for just a collectible thing, you know, to park it away and wait till it escalates in price, which I'm sure it will do sometime. Yeah, it's got your name attached. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and the success it's had, but yeah. David is very intent on on racing it, and that's good. I'll go and, well, and help him a bit early on, so he gets yep. the hang of it, but it's, yeah. uh, it's a nice car to drive, you know within its window you got to get it in its in its happy place but yeah all, yeah all race cars are like that yeah yeah Alright John, 
we resume. We resume, we resume mate. We've moved, we've moved away from the car. away from all the noise. <laughs> so I can hear you talk, mate. Yeah. Hey, um, anything you want to touch on um, in your race history that you've... Um, I've, uh, you've probably covered it all, my friend. I've uh, had a very blessed life in many ways, you know. I've been able to do what I love doing. I still do it. Uh, motor racing is my happy place. I've uh, survived depression, I've survived uh, prostate cancer. You know, not every moment in my racing life was wonderful, I can tell you that. It's probably 50% of it that's been good and 50% hasn't. But, you know, if you love something, like I have a passion for racing and a passion for cars, um, and I'm still able to do it, so I'm, I'm grateful, really. But the whole story of my life would take a long time to tell and um, one of my friends Andrew McLean he's a, a, a very good writer him and I are writing a book so one of these days I'll be able to sell you a copy so you can read all the fine detail you know? I was going to ask you you know are you going to do a book because there's great history there and um, you know you, you've been a champion in the in the race industry and it's good good to have a read and, and, and touch on that sort of stuff. Well, the inner story, you, know, you, you never find in a, in a television grab or a, you know, or a YouTube thing. So, uh, yeah, so I've started a book about three times but never really got that far. But this Amac's a good bloke and he's, he's a good writer. And, I, you know, him and I have sat down numerous times and told lots of stories. So... Yeah, I hope yeah. it's going to be a good read. He's, he's, he's got a bit more to go and he's going to get onto that very shortly. So I don't know when we're going to have it done, but hopefully soon. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily want to read about myself, but <laughs> I'd like to have a, a history of my racing life because it's been essentially a 50-year journey. Yeah. And I've got kids and grandkids and I'd like to have some sort of record of it, you know. So when I've departed, they'll be able to say <laughs> My granddad wasn't a bad old bloke, was he? He was all right at turning the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, you knew how to drive, eh? Hey? Yeah. So have you... Allegedly. Yeah, alleged, exactly. And um, is there a car, I mean, it's hard to pick, but is there a car that you loved, you, you know, you had a special moment in that you that you loved to drive, or is it just all of them? Uh, you have a special moment with any car that you go on a ride in. Yep. You know, like uh, if, if you have a breakdown or something engine failure or crash or whatever you're not overly fond of it <laughs> it's just it's just a mental thing <laughs> but if you have a good run with things and i had a good run with lots of different cars so i wouldn't like to s single anything out but with you know I, I probably have more people talk to me about the shell sierras that i drove with dick johnson than, okay. than any other car okay you now this car behind us is a Touring Car Masters and I had some wonderful times in the Touring Car Masters you know as a, as a competitor great group of people hard racing but tough old cars you know just old fashioned cars yeah bulletproof yeah well not always bulletproof <laughs> wayward I'd say more than bulletproof okay. so yeah I've, you know, you know, lots of cars I've had some success in and lots of cars I haven't yeah have you got any great memories of um, Bathurst you, you want to share? Yeah, 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 of course. I've got some bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> I quite often say, uh, you know, if we're reminiscing to people talking about Bathurst, particularly Bathurst, because it's Bathurst, is that the, uh, yeah, I reckon I've, I've raced there 38 years consecutively in a row in various classes, categories, races. And out of those 38 years, I reckon I've gone home on Monday disappointed 25 times. Okay. So the memories, the good memories are way less frequent than the, than the bad memories. But um, Dick Johnson and I together won the Bathurst 1000 twice. Uh, we came second a couple of times. I've come, I've come second prior to that. I won the... 12 hour in a, in a Marinello motorsport team. Okay. With uh, Craig Lowndes and Peter Edwards and Mika Salo. So it's always a team effort. Yeah. Always, you know, from the drivers to the tyre guy. Uh, I won the 12 hour race with 
Dick way back in the 90s in a Manston. I won the 12 hour race in a BMW with Paul Morris and Gary Holt. So I've got some good memories. Yeah, too. great and memories. And I've got a few where the, something broke and I hit the fence and the wheel came off and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, on it goes. <laughs> so let's focus on the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And do you remember back, um, we, we um, used to drive these cars to the track, didn't you? Long before my time. Like, yeah, yeah, no? Yeah, <laughs> way, way back in the, let's call it the late, mid to late 60s, they, they would drive them uh, yep. when it was still the Bathurst endurance race, but it was essentially for road going cars. So, okay. Um, particularly Harry Firth, the late Harry Firth, who was a guru of the time, he, he used to send his drivers, one being Peter Brock, Tom Bond, they'd drive the cars to Bathurst to run them in, so... Okay. Yeah, a, a different, different world. Yeah, yeah, a completely different, different world, world. Yeah. I came along when they had brakes, <laughs> <laughs> which was good, very fortunate for me. Yeah. And did you get, did you go overseas at, at, at some stage, John, or not? Uh, only a few times, yeah. I, I've raced at uh, Goodwood in the UK, raced at... Uh, Laguna Saker a few times and raced at the Circuit of the Americas with my friend Joe Collegia who's got a little collection of you know, historic race cars. Yep. But back in the day I didn't know, honestly didn't know, didn't know how to and couldn't afford to. So yeah, yeah. Simple. It's all very well saying I should, should have traced, chased the dream but I didn't know how to chase the dream anyway. So yeah, yeah. I'm Was it different good. racing over there? Was it different sort of setup or? Uh, no, not really, not really. Racing's racing. Racing's racing, but uh, you know, if you want to, if you aspire to be a Formula One driver, you've got to be in Europe. Well, right. Back in my early days, when if I could have, or would have, or should have, you know, who knows? <laughs> you can't turn turn back time, can you? No, no, no. Oh, you had a great racing history here, so yeah. And um, just finally, is this something you want to want to share? Say. No, I'm uh, very grateful, mate. I mean, we've had, at uh, Resto Country here, we've had you know, thousands of people and we've given away posters and little rare spares, trinkets. And, I see you uh, signing all day. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's really, it's nice to have, a, a, you know, a following and I try and engage with them because how can you not, you know, they're interested in what I do. So I'm really blessed, to be honest. Uh, yeah to have survived this long, I'm still in one piece. <laughs> oh, you're looking pretty good, John. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anyone's seen in me all year. And, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky, and, and I intend to stay that way. Yeah. Oh, well, good to catch up, John. Yeah, Thanks you, for the, the um, chat, and, um, yeah, cheers, John. Good on you. Thank <laughs> you.